It's a lot of fun, and so I'm ready to go. I'm so excited, and I love our theme, and welcome to the jungle. March 11th from 7 to 5 and everyone should come out and support make sure that if you're 16 you get your parents consent um, eat a good breakfast don't drink any coffee and it's in the assembly room so um, it's not in the NIMS this year so it's a lot more accessible for the high schooler so we expect to see a lot more people um, make sure you tell your teachers and ask someone to walk you over at the certain time that you would like to go and um, make sure that you eat breakfast and eat dinner the night before and don't drink any caffeine the morning of. Good morning, my name is Andrea Borges and I'm here at the Academy of the Sacred Heart with breaking news, the coronavirus. COVID-19 is a pandemic that initially started in China and has been spread to all Trees. I will be giving you all some tips on how you can avoid the coronavirus. So tip number one, you need to cough the proper way. The incorrect way to cough. <coughs> can you show us the right way to cough now? <coughs> Actually go to the bathroom and wash your hands. So we're going to yeah. show you how to wash your hands properly. Step number one, wet your hands a little. <laughs> Step number two, can you go. <laughs> Step number two, Put soap on your hands. Step number three, grab well, a dub dub. Get the front, get the, the, front, get the back, get the fingers, get the tips. Oh, yeah. Grab a paper towel first, and then turn off the faucet, grabbing with the paper towel. When you use a tissue, there are two ways you can go about disposing the tissue. Number one is the incorrect way and throwing it on the ground. Now, Sophia is gonna show us the proper way to dispose of a Kleenex. Good. And what do you do after that? You either wash your hands or you use hand sanitizer. I hope you enjoy all these coronavirus tips. I'll see you next time. When you go to the 
the bathroom do you ever just think of like the weirdest randomest things like the other day i was just in the bathroom and i was contemplating my cat's name and i just came up with the name edgar out of nowhere i like it i always tell myself that after this week i'll be better next week but next week's is never better also why are braces like the ugliest thing like why are they a thing honestly everybody looks disgusting in them College is really scaring me. I feel, I, I'm so scared that people are gonna think I'm this weird freak because I'm gonna cry myself to sleep for the first month because I'm gonna miss my mom so much. And then the first day when I walk in with my big box of hand sanitizer and baby wipes, they're gonna be like, oh God, get this girl out of here. Welcome back to question of the week. What's the question? What's your Lenten promise and have you kept it? Uh, my Lenten promise is to not think rude thoughts about others, um, and I'm really challenged by that sometimes. I gave up chips and sweets, and I forgot, and I ate chips and queso. My Lenten promise was to be more organized at home, so I've been Marie kondo my house, and so far, so good. I gave up hot Cheetos. <laughs> My Lenten promise is to decide where to go to college. Y'all are really close. I set my phone to where I can only be on social media for two hours. I give up fried food and soda and I'm go it's going good. It's going good. What's your Lenten promise and have you kept it? I'm not Catholic, I don't do that. 